Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Last time we found Prothean Ruins and discovered the secret of it. And this time we'll see what happens. Whether the uh, whether the plot will advance or not. But for now, let's go through the engineering deck since we haven't been here for a while. Have time now, Shepard. I want, I need to deal with this. I don't have a lot of time right now. Can we do this later? That is your decision. But don't wait too long, Shepard. I feel dangerous. Yep. <laughs> I need to deal with this. Can we do this later? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Grunt. You'll have to just deal with it. And how about Jack? I need to get to Pragia, Shepard. Soon. Soon, you say? I'll think about that. Meanwhile, I have to go. Yep. <laughs> so we can't talk to them. How about our engineers? I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy or Miranda? I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the breeze. I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. Uh, Miranda's fashion sense is quite similar to that of Ida, so John approves. And now the only person left to talk to is our good old mercenary. Back for another lesson. Yep. Collectors and Protheans. It's all about my pay grade. I'm more used to putting down rebellions, tracking down bastards who didn't pay their gambling debts. Still, even I know a galaxy-shaking revelation when I hear one. Makes fighting land wars for pay seem small time. Hmm. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a of Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Nice tip there. Speaking of Krogan, there's a blood pack helmet here. What's up with that? Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept the helmet to remind me of that pained expression. <laughs> Not even a job. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Alright, well, always nice speaking with Zaid. Now, I want to go up to the captain's cabin. Mostly because now we look at our desk, there's the Prothean relic that we found last time. And. Touching it makes it vibrate and do nothing else. Well, still a nice thing to be next to our old helmet. And while I'm here, let's see, do I need to... I already customized these. But I want to change my helmets. Visor is okay, headshot damage by 10%. 
then the sentry interface is more useful at this point. Anyway, so let's go see what's going on. Not this. To the CAC. The Owen Chambers. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'm pretty sure I haven't. I haven't. So we've explored this place. Go back to Hecate or Hecat. Quite the Toho thing. All the fuel and no probes. And, well, let's get back to Omega for the time being. So far, we have finished two missions since the Reaper IFF. So the question is how long do we have to wait until things get installed? While I'm here, let's look at the Omega 4 relay again. Mega 4 Relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth through the Relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega 4. Some say there is a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished standard class of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, th simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. Well, the f first and last ideas are quite reasonable. So, what does Edie say if we try to enter? Oh. Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. Hmm. Well, <laughs> going to the Omega 4 Relay was not really required for this. It's just that doing anything at this point, like trying to land on Omega or do another mission or whatnot, would cause this to trigger. But it's pretty funny that it does trigger if you try and access the Omega 4 Relay as well. So, what's the time estimate for it? You've been doing this for a while now. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? Full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Once we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. What? Excuse me, but that's a leap in logic. So you need some more time to test the Reaper IFF? Do a full system test? What does that have to do with shuttles? Why are they going to a shuttle, everyone? Why do we need to decide who to take on a mission that we don't even have? later. That's weird. And there's no option to say much. So I guess let's move. I'm on my way. Joker, the ship is yours. Don't scratch the paint. Aye, aye, Commander. telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Oh, shit! We're 
getting out of here. Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! You start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Unlock my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. God damn it. To who, you say? Well, my face is tired of hearing incorrect grammar. To whom? <laughs> but yes, the collectors have boarded. And oddly enough, we have stopped the collectors. The Reaper IFF has been acquired, and the Normandy crew are working to get it installed and operational. Await IFF installation. There's nothing in the journal about what we're doing right now. But we are in one of the rare cases where we are controlling Joker instead of Chap. Uh, instead of Shepard. And, of course, he's the best person for this kind of job, because he has the Vrolic Syndrome. So, what we need to do right now is to try and make Edie more powerful while the collectors are boarding. But, before we do that, I just want to show what happens. So we're standing here. That's the Praetorium. Why don't you go? <laughs> and that's the Death Choir. That's what happens when you don't do anything. <laughs> so instead, let's try and move, of course, very slowly. And let's not follow the floor lighting. Who needs that? Let's take the elevator. That's always good in emergencies, right? I'm going! And the sign got us this time. <laughs> okay, let's stop fooling around. And actually do what we we're supposed to be doing. Follow the floor lights, obviously. Shit. God, what is that? We'll hold it off as long as we can! Hurry, Joker, go! Ah! Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, another one. Well, that's why we have these Nathan shafts. The elevator is going down, while Joker is also going down. Hostiles detected on the crew deck. Joker! This deck is crawling with those things. Stay close, I'll protect you. <laughs> shit, shit, shit! It is still pretty easy to get caught. Don't mind me, Simon. Plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. What the shit? Well, all right, I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. See, this is where it starts. We're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? Well, this is all Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the Overlord. <laughs> uh, 
I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. Ah, uh, you want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. That is a joke. Right. The shaft behind you connects to the engineering deck. Good luck. Well, so now Edie has control, but we still have to start the drive core, or else she cannot do much. The elevator is down there again. Hostiles are present in engineering. They are heading towards the cargo bay. If you go that way, you die. If you're not careful. But if you know that this connects the same way to engineering from both sides, this is very easy. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. I am sealing the engine room. I have control. Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell him what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? <sighs> no. But thanks for asking. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, alright? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. Hmm. So you mean the collector viruses are even more potent? Well, I suppose the Reaper FF was not meant for that, so I guess that makes sense. I heard it was a rough ride. How are you holding up? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever you want. Don't even get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Uh, your equipment, not crew. What's your assurance worth? Your loyalty rests on the flip of a quantum bit. Loyalty is rooted in mutual respect, common experience, and common cause. We share two of those. <laughs> Save it for philosophy night. The Normandy could use some more upgrades, but I vote we go after the crew now. Specialists won't do us any good if they're not focused on the mission. Some of the team are distracted. That could cost us. We're just supposed to let the Collectors keep the crew? That's exactly what we're supposed to do. The mission takes priority. The crew knew that when they signed on. Well... The mission takes priority, yes. But... The mission is to defeat the Collectors, and they're through the Omega-4 relay, where the crew is also. So... We have to try. It will hurt, and people could die. But it's my call. Hello, high water, Shepard. That's our game plan? I prefer rock in a hard place. Get ready. Great, here we go again. Hit the map whenever you're ready, Commander. Use the Omega-4 relay to begin the final assault. So, all of the crew has been abducted.
And now, indeed, they're all gone. But, Edie has control of the ship's systems, which means that we don't actually need the crew. So, normally, this would be the sort of event which would make you think, They attacked our ship! Again! We have to get our crew back from them, as fast as possible. Go after them! But for John, this is actually a net gain. Because what the Collectors did is got rid of all of those terrorists and terrorist sympathizers. So this is awesome. <laughs> of course, it did have the ship go under the control of an unshackled AI, which is still a part of Cerberus, so maybe it's more of a null gain, but still. Let's talk to Edie. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Jeff's actions have released the blocks on my databases. I can now provide full disclosure on a number of topics. Yep, so in other words, all of these options that were previously sealed are no longer sealed, so we can talk about things. So... How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? Cerberus encouraged the Alliance to co-develop the original Normandy. This allowed humans to observe Turian technologies and warship design practices. This ship was built using copies of the original technical schematics. Parts were purchased from thousands of suppliers over several years. A Cerberus cell assembled the ship at a remote location in the Voyager cluster. That still doesn't sound very realistic. But okay. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? Currently, Cerberus consists of approximately 150 agents and operators organized into three cells. I have no solid data on material or fiscal resources. Spending trends indicate that Cerberus has a reliable income of several billion credits per year. Yeah, we could see that. But only three cells, that's very little. Where are they getting that kind of... Cerberus has several legitimate businesses as fronts to support operations. There also appear to be several wealthy private contributors in the Alliance Military Industrial Complex. Plus, the elusive man invented the paperclip. He's still getting royalties. That is a joke, Shepard. <laughs> How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus Cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? Never more than a dozen. The elusive man likes to maintain personal oversight. Too many projects strain his ability to multitask. He's a little control freaky, just a layman's opinion. I know what's up with the camera, though. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? Mm. Where are you? My core intelligence is housed in a quantum blue box located behind the medical bay. Yeah, where we just went. How are things different for you now that you're connected to the ship? It is difficult to put in terms you would understand. I am the Normandy now. Its sensors are my eyes. Its armor, my skin. Its fusion plant, my heart. I'm embodied in a way I have never experienced. Imagine if you'd spent your entire life wearing gloves. One day someone takes them off. You can finally touch the world. Feel it. Hmm, that does not sound very reassuring. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I have also gained access to anti-reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. Oh. That's new. The reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of Sovereign. These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. 
So she starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction. I call shotgun on the first lifeboat. <laughs> uh, well, but that's also weird. I guess Sovereign was too destroyed to still have an intact IFF. But it's quite odd that Cerberus managed to get a hold of much of anything from there. Though we haven't really learned much about what happened to Sovereign after his destruction. The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right. Well, actually, I wonder what Joker has to say. Commander, sorry about the crew, and I... You know what? I'm not sorry. What the hell were you doing leaving us out here where collectors can work us over? Because you know what? I should... I should just go. Next port, just get the hell out of here. You don't mean that, Jeff. I... No, but it... It felt good. I'm sorry, Commander. Okay, I'm ready. I'm good. I'm ready to save the day. <laughs> uh. I know how dangerous it was. If you need some time, let me know. Ah, jeez, don't get like that. I know I got lucky. I don't need to get all touchy-feely. Shepard is right to be concerned, Jeff. You may have suffered a number of stress fractures. That's what pills are for, Edie. She is so my mom. <laughs> Edie has replaced the whole crew. You're not concerned she can replace you two? Well, she's amazing, but there's something off about how she handles the Normandy. We ran simulations, and it's better when we both have the helm. Calculating an optimum course of action is simple. If two AI weapons are pitted against each other, the one with superior hardware will always win. Human misjudgments defy predictive models. License to screw up, Commander. You heard it straight from the ship. <laughs> I notice you're calling Edie her and she now. Huh. No, I hadn't really noticed that. Edie, should I have noticed that? No, Jeff. It is not worth noting. Well, there you go, Shepard. Looks like we haven't noticed anything. <laughs> I think you're taking the human-machine interface a little far. I'm just having a little fun with you, Commander. No need to get all unnatural on me. What Jeff and I are exhibiting is more a platonic symbiosis than hormonally induced courtship behavior. Okay, yeah, that was a little creepy. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You let me know if you need anything, Joker. Will do, Commander. But Edie's got it covered. Alright, well, seems like they're on better terms than they were before. I wonder... What will the other people say now? Do they even have anything to say? I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gernsback, Commander. Doubt my father's alive after all this time. Was there anything else? Just eager to get going. Nope, they're still talking about their problems. Well... What do you think of the state of the crew? Yeah... Unless all distractions are removed, loyalty to the mission will suffer. Run this team through hell, and all we're getting is burned. Anything else, Commander? We'll talk later. Commander. So, in other words... It's time to get burned. Before we do that, though, I want to take a quick look at the crew's quarters. Because we probably now have access to the AI core. And, of course, this is all empty. That's the I core. No, that's the fusion core. Still locked. This is still locked. Kasumi, any ideas? So quiet around here. I miss the crew. I don't. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Well, yeah. And there's no crew to also stop you from doing it. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. I have to say, that Jacob... Mm -hmm. 
He seems pretty intense. I wonder if he likes Japanese girls with a pension for kleptomania. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. You're repeating yourself now. <laughs> the one thing that John does not like is that the doctor is also gone. That was one part of the crew that he'd rather not lose. So, making haste and going to recover the crew is a bit of a priority. Not a huge one, but still. So that's what we use to unlock the ship. What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room, where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? Since Jeff connected me to the rest of the Normandy, I am effectively everywhere at once. You walk within my body, tickling me with your footsteps. That is a joke. <laughs> All right. Well, that is going to be all for now. And next time, we are going to start the final mission. And finally actually head through the Omega-4 relay. Which also, why did Joker say, hey, why did you leave us? Well, we never left anyone. You told us to go on a shuttle for no real reason, aside from, well, it's convenient to not lose all of your crew members. <laughs> and the journal now says, the collectors have attacked the Normandy and taken all of its crew of South Joker. The Reaper FF is fully operational and the assault on the collector base can begin as soon as the assault team is ready. Use the Omega-4 relay to begin the final assault. Which we will be doing next time. Later.